it's Mr. Higgins with Science with Higgins. Today we're going to do an experiment where we're going to use soap. That's pretty much the only material that you need to get for this, but you need two different types of soap. You need ivory, which is actually a name brand, and there's a reason for this, which we'll get to later. And then you need some cost-effective soap. Now I went with this brand. I found it at Walmart, and I think it was around 35 cents per bar. Ivory is a little bit more expensive. And you're going to want two bars of each so that you can observe and compare what happens after you use the microwave on them. So get a plate and put each bar on it and make sure that you have permission to do this because this will make the entire microwave smell like soap for around a week. So either you like the smell of soap or it's just gonna smell. So take each piece of soap, one bar, put it on a plate. Uh, you will wanna watch these plates afterwards because the soap just gets all over the place and microwave it in the microwave for two minutes and you can observe two very different ways that the physical properties of the soap change. So now we're all done, and you can obviously see that the ivory soap had a much, much different reaction to heat in the microwave, because what the microwave is doing, we'll get here in a second, than this soap. And the reason for that has to do with how the soaps are made. Now here's a, here's a zoom in of each soap, a picture of it. And if you look at the ivory soap, you really see these, these little rough patches. And the reason that those are rough is because ivory soap is injected with air. And as the air expands, when the microwave heats the water inside the bar, it causes the soap to balloon up and become kind of like a big white cloud, but the cheaper soap doesn't really have air injected into it. And so what you see at the expansion of that soap is the water turning to vapor. And in both soaps, the water is going to turn to vapor, but you get much more expansion of the soap in the ivory. Now, I'm going to head outside and totally just crush these because you really should experience the difference in how they feel, an observation. Now I'm outside, ooh, and we'll take the kind of generic soap first, and we're gonna break off half of it, and you can really kind of feel that it's still soap. Now to make sure you don't get any of this in your eye, because soap in your eyes will hurt. And then compare that, can't take it off the plate it looks like. Compare that to this ivory soap, which is a powder now, and <laughs> getting all over the place. I just told you not to get it in your eyes and look what I'm doing. And the ivory soap, when I'm doing this, and I'm gonna have to show this down the sidewalk here, reacts much differently than generic soap, which didn't have any air in it. The generic soap just falls to the ground, but the light, fluffy ivory soap is breaking off into little tiny pieces and blowing away in this fine Nebraska wind. I told you I would show you this. You can see that I've got soap kind of just spilling down the front of my apartment and I'm going to help out with that by kind of doing this. Oh no, look at the soap go. Bye soap. And like snow, it blows away. Yay, soap! This has been Justin Higgins with Science with Higgins. And remember, science is in everything.